Um, and I was much more of a landscape uh, artist and a naturalist uh, than the abstract work that Hilma then went on to do. Uh, but they sort of developed their friendship from there, which, as you say, then became a real partnership and relationship. Um, and Anna came from the north of Sweden, she came from a very wealthy family mm -hmm. and financially supported a lot of Hilma's work and building studios and um, paying, you know, for all the materials of these vast paintings, a lot of that came down to Anna. Um, and, I, you know, I suppose it's up for debate as to what the motive was for that, of whether it's Anna is equally invested in sort of this spiritual endeavour and creating these artworks or you know if she is just in love with Hilma and kind of supporting her in that way and I think it's probably a bit of both um, but yes they had a relationship which you know was a tumultuous one over their life but they were very much even in the ups and downs I think always felt quite connected to each other till the very end of her life.